Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris Robbins, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some Hakeem Butler tape. So, he is a fourth year junior out of Iowa State who is listed at 6'5, 225. Uh, and yeah, he's been one of the more popular receivers in the class for sure. Uh, a couple of people telling me to check him out and see what he can do. So, uh, yeah, let's just get right into this, and we'll start with, uh, let's try Iowa. So for those of you guys who are new here, welcome. Uh, we also have, at this point, whoops, I do not want to unmute that. Uh, we also have, at this point, uh, some tapes up on Deontay Johnson and Anthony Rattle Williams. So if you guys have not seen those yet, Definitely feel free to check those out. Of course, going into half speed here. And here we go. Okay, top of the screen. Pretty rounded cut. I do like that in route though. Inside the slot, okay. Ooh, a little bit of a harder cut that time. Top of the screen. Not really anyone to release off of. Hmm. Bottom of the screen this time. Vertical stem release. Didn't look like he was getting a ton of separation there. Kind of hard to say with receivers from broadcast angles sometimes, but. Bottom of the screen. Ooh, I like that little release move he did. Of course, it was on block, but nice little stutter step there with a little in cut before showing him downfield. Nice play. In the slot again. Interesting that they're playing him in the slot. I wonder if that's a matchup thing. Slide the two. Team Butler up top here. Blow fade. And they throw it to the running back. Or the tight end. That was a fail. Bottom of the screen this time. <laughs> I was goal on defense. Two for two so far. Again in the slot. Alright. Again, I really like that active release at the line. I'm going to see him try and get this corner to bite. Nice patience by the corner to not bite, though. A little fade route, overthrow. Here we go. Right here, number 18, in case we ever gets lost, by the way. Yeah, it's just a nice play by the corner to keep him in front. Bottom of the screen this time. Okay, nice little in cut that time. Inside receiver at the top. Vertical. He's a 6'5 guy, so he's not exactly going to be your typical. 5 ton slot route runner type, 
it is worth mentioning that another round in So it seems like Iowa State is trying to attack the middle and the intermediate level of the field with those in routes and the deep part of the field with those vertical stems. Oh, nice block. Oh, man. He's completely taking that guy out of the play. Really nice effort play by Hakeem. They are seeming to be playing him off a lot as well, which is kind of interesting. Oh, nice out cut. Oh, I don't, yeah, man. I really like what he does, what he does on this route, especially for a bigger guy. As I was just saying, probably harder for him to make this kind of harder cut. And he does a nice job of breaking and getting out outside on that cut. Oh, it just went right through his hands. At least he was trying to make a hands catch. Ooh, nice little curl. I really like that hard, that hard break on the curl here. Punch right here, bam, turns around. Really nice. Top of the screen. Another one of those rounded ends. Find sign. Here we go. Very top here for Butler. He does do a very nice job of utilizing that kind of cut, so it does make sense that they would uh, try and get him to do that. He is going to get this almost like a post cut here. Great job not overextending. I think he's going to do the same thing right about here. And he's going to take a little bit more of a sharper angle to cut back inside here and occupy the space. Pretty good route there from Butler. Especially given, as I've said, a couple times now this size. First time they play him on, really nice release there. Up top. A little simple little drag underneath here. I like that they're exploring all three levels with him. Realizing the drag, the mid and then the deep vertical. Simple hitch route. Nice hinge catch. Final the screen. Quick out. Side. Oh, nice. Smart play to run beyond the first down marker there as well on third down. Not by the running back, but by Keem. He does a really nice job of avoiding the uh, coverage. He did that on the last play as well, but I'll show you guys on, oops, on this one. He's just going to simply get around the corner here in, in the zone and then slip through that coverage. It's a uh, nice visual awareness. Top of the screen. Looked like a post of some kind. Might be another one of those deep ends.
Ooh, nice mid out. Nice catch. Might give him forward progress for a first down. Top of the screen. Another curl. Oh, dang, good statistical game for Herbert. Four TDs. percent Here's Butler. Looked like a curl. Yeah. Oh, come back. Okay. Time to field hitch route. He was wide open. Well, of course, he's pretty open too. And the screen third down. Nice shot of heading toward the open space there. Going for it on fourth. Simple little. Oh! Zag! Almost worked too. He got him hard. That's a pretty unique route for someone like Butler. Uh, I don't really see a lot of route running type receivers run this. Starts in to get the cornerback moving in here. And then it almost looks like a hitch at this point because he's turned around looking for the ball. But then he's going to take this zag out. Unfortunately, it's not the best throw from Kemp, but regardless, especially on fourth and one, that's a really nice play call from the Iowa State offensive play caller. And really nicely executed route by Butler. Pro route. Inside receiver up top this time. Bottom of the screen. Oh, kind of hard to see the route there. Very top. Another inside cut, some kind that might have even been a slant. Very top of the screen. That was a horrible throw from Kempt. Nice job, I will say this though about Butler. Nice job of finding that space there. Notice that he's sitting in the green space between these two uh, defenders. So nice part on his part uh, to get open. Nice shot on his part to get open. Another curl. Eric going to throw that. Top. Curl or any of some kind. Another round again. Seeing that route from him a lot. Is that a wheel? Oh, nice defensive play there by the defender. Might have been a corner. Hands catch. Oh, it hit the shoulder by the defender. 
That was an underthrown ball. That's on the quarterback. Really nice tight coverage there by Ocean Movia. This is a guy that caught my eye in live games too. I think he's eligible next year or the year after. Green 25. Ooh, that was catchable. That was on Hakeem. He's trying to go for a body catch. Hopefully this thing will tell us a little bit better. And cut, and then takes it out. So post corner route. Not exactly the best post corner either. I will bring that up, of course, again. As I've said, he is 6'5". Uh, but you want to see a little bit harder of a cut here. And you don't want to see him slow down as much throughout the route. Right here, see how he kind of stops his running to make this cut? It's almost like he's trying to sell the post a little bit too hard, and but he stops right there and to make this cut. You want to kind of see, ideally, a little bit more of a direct uh, double move. Here we go. Yeah, he tried to body catch that. Don't like to see body catchers. There could be an issue. I mean, obviously, that's only one play, but could be something to look out for. That looked like a nice hands catch, though. And again, on the opposite side of that play, you see him do a really nice job of finding that open space. Saw that earlier, too, on one of those outside throws. Uh, really nice job of finding that green area. Uh, in defense, in between four or five guys. Good uh, spatial feel there. Yep, nice. Just fun way to get a little bit behind that linebacker. Another one of those ends. Oh. Okay, so that was the Iowa game. Got a good feel for some of the things that he can do, but definitely want to see some more uh, before we can give him too much judgment on some of these things, especially with the hands-body deal. Uh, kind of need to see more catching attempts to see if that's the case, because we did see some hands catches. Uh, route running, again, some of the more complicated routes, the double move uh, that I mentioned. Want to see him be a little bit more smooth and a little bit uh, less drop-off uh, and less change of gear on that. If you're going to change gears, at least try and, uh, I want to say, sell the cut. A little bit more. Uh, so let's try. I don't really want to go Kansas. Let's try Texas. I think they have a couple of nice corners this year. Uh, Devontae Davis and Chris Boyd, I think, are both coming out. Let's, uh, of course, take this into half speed. Full screen. Let's go top of the screen. Oh, chipset. Lock. Or not. Okay, then. <laughs> 
Iowa State was ranked 16th at this point. Wow. Oh, nice. That's a lot of separation on Delonte. I think it's just perfect. So, Devontae Davis is more of his own corner. But he, oh man, that was an excellent comeback curl. Wow, definitely a great job of creating separation. I don't know why they wouldn't put Boyd on him though. It would probably make a little bit more sense to man up Keen Butler than put his own guy on him. Inside slant. Nice job, I come to get that away. Ooh, nice ink cut. Definitely not a guy who's afraid to go across the middle of the field. Part of that might be his physical nature and his size. Uh, but a lot of these routes we see him run, that round in uh, cut, at a time he had a nice hard in cut. I've seen a couple of slants and side hitches, things like that, so definitely a guy who can run the middle of the defense. Post, or that is actually another one of those round the ends. This coverage by uh, 18, I think that's Davis. Yep. Block. Engage. Nice. Force no other play. Again, something you kind of want to see from more, from more of a bigger guy is blocking capability, and he does seem to do that really well. That was a busted play. What the heck happened there? Motion receiver. Okay, taking a shot to him down the field. Nice separation. It looked like he got out of bounds. You're saying he caught it? Okay, let's check this out. So this is against uh, Boyd, Chris Boyd. He is a Jeff eligible corner. For those of you guys who aren't familiar with him yet. Okay, nice outside cut to take that outside leverage boundary. Great job, we're just creating separation with his legs as well. Not really being too pushy and forceful in his uh, hand usage, which is actually kind of interesting for a bigger guy. He does do a nice job of swiping there. I really like how he takes away that right side arm of oh boy, and that kind of helps create a little bit of separation here. Not the best throw from Kemp. You can see Hakeem has to completely stop his route and turn around. So, already under throwing football, which makes this much more difficult for him. Great adjustment, though, uh, by Butler. Find the ball, excellent ball tracking. Looks like to me his foot is kind of out, the right side of that left foot. And of course the right foot is out. I don't think he got that in bounds. But either way, uh, we did get to see a lot of useful skills on that last play. We got to see that nice arm swipe. Uh, we got to see him create a little bit of separation using that. Uh, we got to see his ball tracking skills. 
uh, and, and things like that. It also looked like that was a nice hand to catch. I will actually go back and check that. Uh, nice usage there. Ball tracking. Uh, he definitely did help to have the body come help him there. So I do want to see a little bit less reliance on the body. That's the second time now. Well, it didn't exactly go off of his chest. Uh, he definitely had a little bit more help from his body than what we want to see. Oof, let me throw. Sharp taking the outside leverage again, underthrown. That time he got both beaten. That's a catch for sure. So, again, seeing a lot more attempts down the field in this game, which is kind of nice. Uh, what we're going to see him do here, I like how they're trying to back off the corners. They're really not trying to press him at, at all, neither did Iowa. But regardless, he's still able to create a little separation here and get behind him. But he does a really nice job of adjusting here. Body control, uh, ball tracking skills, adjusting to the throws. All really, really good for him uh, in this game that you see him show off. And he does get that foot down. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that was a push-off or what. Uh, doesn't look like it. Looks like the corner might have just lost track of the football. Oh, here's a better view. Yeah, he moves them a little bit. That's not a bad push-off or anything, though. Screen? Okay, this should give us a feel for his rack ability, maybe. Or not. Picked up a couple with it though. I like that quick turn on the screen as well. Didn't waste too much time trying to set that up. Whoops. Right here, just right off the snap. Does a nice job getting around quickly to look for the ball. I'll like to get a quick screen. Blocking this shot was seen centered. Another vertical down the field route. Underthrown. Oh, that was Johnson. Top of the screen. Now they're down the field route to the other receiver. Oh. Oh, he dropped it. Okay, nice release there. Does a great job of using it to create separation down the, the boundary as well. So he definitely has a nice release versus press, which is probably part of why they don't press him, to be honest. Okay, down the field, nope, not Butler.
very inside slot this time. Nice shot of avoiding 23. That was catchable. Yeah, I like how he avoids 23. Oh man, he was wide open. I, I get that he's showing this guy and this guy's, but like this dude is creating some nice separation. Hakeem, I mean, he's probably your number one target, and he has a little bit of separation, and he's hiding into some open grass. This dude, if you throw him underneath, he has the first down. I don't know, that seems like one of the last guys. I mean, I'm having watched Devontae Davis, too, I really like what he can do in zone. Oh. I don't know, that just doesn't seem like the guy that you would want to target. And then to throw that over, I mean, if you're going to throw that ball, like, try and under-throw that, if anything, so you give your receiver more of a chance to... Whatever. I'm being really harsh on quarterbacks this year. Probably because I'm watching more receiver tape, but... Top of the screen, nice curl route. A little bit late on the timing, nice hands catch there from Butler. On the screen. Oof, overthrown. Still on? Yeah. Can I talk to you about Yeah. Motion for Here. Nice hard cut. I really like how he does uh, not overextend. And he does a really nice job of being that cut. Watch here. Bam! Nice hard out cut. Beautiful. <coughs> Top of the screen. Again, nice hard out cut. He does a really nice job with his cuts for being a bigger guy. Slot receiver. Ooh, nice blocking. Took 23 out of the play. Really nice. Line on the screen. Nice job of finding that space. Beautiful job. Really nice play by Hakeem. Oh, of course they're not going to show a different angle. Uh, so we're going to just rewind this one. But the first thing we're going to see, obviously, is nice jump off the snap. But really nice shot was looking between 23 and 18. And really nice shot was seeing and running through the screen space here. And right here, a little bit of separation still. But also, on 17 down the field, he's right at that first down marker. Body catch. Which is, again, something that we might want to work on with him at the next level. But nonetheless, a really, really nice play that picks up the first, it looks like. Running with Boyd down the field this time. Smarter decision by Texas to finally put Boyd on him. 
but again, down the field, vertical stem. Body catch, but it looks like he does come down with it. Here we go. Really nice hand swiping there. Boy doing a really nice job here of trying to keep him close. <sighs> Without holding him either. And that's actually a really nice play by Boy to get between the body and the uh, hands. But regardless, really nice catch by Hakeem. I'd like to see a little bit more hands, but a little bit less body. Something to watch with him when the uh, combine could be hand size. Maybe he has smaller hands. I don't know why that would be the case at 65. But. There you go. Oh, and he drops it. Yeah, okay, so hand catches are going to be something that you need to work on with him for sure. And that's the first time we've seen him go for a clear hand catch. Uh, it resulted in a drop. Right there, he gets those hands up and he can't bring it into his body, so yeah. Definitely something that he's going to need to improve for sure. Nice job of winning that inside leverage. Terrible throw. Almost pit. Ugh. What are you doing? Okay, nice job of getting off that corner. That was a relatively risky throw there. Could have easily been undercut. Screen. Nice quick screen. Great job turning around quickly there. Dude. Oh. Why? Okay. I mean, like, for real here. They're in off coverage first. So a screen is a good call here. Now he should take this guy out and play. Leaving these two defenders. Okay, first off, if this is a screen pass, why is he not taking the first guy? And it's probably by design, but really? Uh, and secondly, like, look, he, we know he ends up keeping this ball. He's wide open. Like, because he fakes this, now they see, recognize the screen. And with this guy having released off, you now leave the underneath guy open, so it looks like less of a factor now. And now that you have that guy able to come down. But, like, even if you still throw this ball here after the pump fake, you're still at least giving Butler, like, probably two or three yards. Even here, you can probably still get at least a yard or two. Even if you throw it to him, well, that's probably getting batted down. But, like, at least the pass deflection here would work better than uh, one, two, three, four, five yard sack. That was just a horrible play on Kemp's part. Oh, he got held at the end. Nice screen recognition there. There is where he can take off. Yeah, everyone on the screenplay already. Ooh, 
tried to go for a hurdle. Slot here. Oh, nice release. Nice solution by the back to find that open space. Pitch of some kind. It doesn't look like the best job on his part, though. I don't know why he threw that. Devante could have had a pick six there. Throw that over the head. Nice separation there by Hakeem on Boyd. Oh man. I do really like his physicality when blocking though. Nice block by the tight end. And so. Oh, nice job being the press there on that release. That was almost picked. On the screen. Nice inside move. Target. Oh my god, what a horrible throw. Are you kidding me? So he has this little nice inside move here, right? And he creates a ton of separation. And he throws this so far. Look at all this green space. That is, that guy is at the 38 or so. That guy is at about the 46, and that guy is on the other hash, and he throws it behind his receiver with all of that triangle of green space. That is ridiculous. I mean, great shot by Hakeem to like get in the open space and create that much separation, but you cannot throw that terrible of a football in that situation, especially down by 14 in the fourth quarter. And then you take the second fumble. Ugh. What a horrible game from Kemp. In so many ways. The times that Hakeem had to adjust for a football, the times that he was over or underthrown, that was pathetic quarterback play. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all there really is to say about that. So, uh... We'll take a look at the West Virginia game as well. Oh, that one's actually really long. Okay. Uh, then we'll just go for... Is Washington State shorter? I guess a little bit. Okay. Game ramps. I might do both. We'll see. Um, let's try leaving this in normal. This is the bowl game, it looks like. So this is actually better watch anyway. Oh my god. Already? Okay, well, let's see what they're doing here. Nice post route. Okay, so... I mean, this is actually a really nice post route by Butler. It's an outpost, but... They do a really nice job of switching the corners, and he runs underneath and he takes the intermediate part. 
and he just throws this. That's terrible. Okay. Not, oh my goodness, Hakeem. Really? Okay, so this is like the second or third time he's dropped a hands catch. And, uh, yeah, that definitely gives me a little bit of pause about him. Right from the start here. But, I mean, he does a really nice job of getting open. And he actually completely sells the corner here. But you cannot drop that pass. I mean... As far as bad as, we, as bad as I've granted on camp so far, that was actually a pretty good throwing football right in the hands area. Uh, and Hakeem just completely drops that. That was not a good look for him. That's the second or third time that he's dropped that, too. Nice job staying centered. Not bad. Nice catch there. He posts across the middle of the field. Nice cut. And yeah, he needed help from the body there. He almost lost that one too. Definitely not a hands catcher. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my god. Are you kidding? I mean, like, okay, there's some things that I've been going into Butler for. But... Oh my goodness, okay. How is Iowa State rated to 24th with this kind of quarterback play? Let's start with that. Like, oh. that was a, that was a, a great job by the corner to make that, or the safety or whatever position he plays to make the play. And Butler probably could have done a little bit better job of being more aggressive and cutting that off, but that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. I mean, uh, predictable play call. Aided by a pretty bad throw, aided by the receiver not going after that. And you're going to use a pick six. We'll see, man. Nice ink cut there. Much better hands catch. Ooh, nice spin move by Kemp. I'm the screen now. At least he somehow managed to get it off. Oh my gosh, Hakeem Butler. Are they going to show us the other view? They are. Fantastic. Nope, not yet. Love how he's able to create so much separation. And given the fact that he was under that much pressure, that's actually not a bad throw from Kemp. Really nice job of creating the separation. I do want to see how he hauls this in real quick. Yep, uses the hits to bring that up. Nice, nice play. Nice play by Kemp to get that off. Oh, nice little double move there by Hakeem. I'm going to slow this one down too. Watch this route that he runs. 
It's going to start with an in cut and then head out. Almost like it's a short uh, post corner. Bam. Really nice quick cut out. Nice stiff arm as well. Awesome rack ability. First time we've gotten to see that from him. Really nice shot bringing after the catch. Here's a better view. Boom. Really nice quick cut. And then a beautiful stiff arm. We'd like to see that ball in the other arm. So if it does get stripped. Uh, of course he's trying to come at the end of the last side. It's okay. Nice release. Oh, beautiful play. Really nice release there by Hakeem gets him open. Man. Boom. Just a great shot of being that corner inside. Kent sees it really quickly. Nice catch there by Hakeem. Easy, easy big time play there for Butler. Oh, they're going to show it again. Bam! The corner gives him that inside leverage and he just takes it. Creates tons of separation with that. Nice hand to catch that time as well. Excellent work. Top of the screen. Nice blocking. Allows Kemp to get the touchdown. Nice cuts by this running back. That Montgomery, I think. Oh man. Wow, he held on to that. He's pushed by 47. Nice out release there. Okay, deep shot to Akeem. Nice shot creating separation again, though. Body catch. I'll slow this down. Nice shot of taking that open space off the snap. Really nice shot of. Oh, that was a, such a subtle, subtle in move. But it completely fooled the corner. I love how he utilizes his leverage there. So he takes first off. I love how he gets off the snap, taking as much green space as he can. And right there, he makes a subtle little in cut. And this corner gets turned around by that. But it allows him to get outside and win that outside boundary leverage. But it completely turns off the corner as well. And again, body catch, not really a big fan of that, but of course he has drop issues with the hands, so. Nice hand catch there by Butler. And he dropped it. Yeah, that's a really big problem with him. I've seen it at least three times now. Well, that looked more like a fumble, to be fair. But regardless, man, I don't know if it's hand size or technique, but he definitely needs to improve those hand catches. Deep shot to a key, and wow! Okay. Um, I don't know how he came down with that. So he got the one hand up, and then he brought it back in. I mean, I don't know how you can make such a spectacular catch like that, and then drop an easy two-hander on the boundary. Okay, well, really nice rings, wingspan. Obviously, you can get vertical, so no shortage of athletic ability. 
definitely a 50-50 guy. And yeah, he had a little bit of help from the body there, but I mean, that was still a pretty big hands catch. He's obviously going to win that battle. There's no way the corner's going to come down with that. Look at the vertical. That is ridiculous. I don't know how many inches that is, but... I mean, that's, that's really impressive vertical ability. And then he just rips it right out from the corner. Went outside or block. Okay. Here. Oh, he goes for. Yep, there it is again. Goes for the hands catching, he drops it. This time in the end zone. That's your really nice shot of creating separation with that left arm. Goes for the one handed catch. Can't bring again. Yep. Gotta work on those hands catches. For every spectacular catch that he makes, he has a drop to go with it. Starting seven. Nice cup by Montgomery. Brought down. So, yeah, Butler not using his hands effectively on that end zone catch. It's the difference between three and seven. It's a four point difference. Just play to take off there by Kent. Just get out to the. Yep. Smart play. Motion man here. Out, 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 out. Oh, nice corner right in there for coverage. I must say, no, that was corner. Oh, my goodness, Kempt. What was this? He's been doing pretty good this game, to be fair. But that was just terrible. Clean pocket. No one even coming close to him. And he still underthrows that so badly. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's see what else up here. Nice vision there by Montgomery. Find the cutback lane. Pick up the first. Nice outcut again. Oh, he almost dropped that. Well, starting to come a little, a little loose at the end. Regardless, really nice job. Great timing here by Kemp, partially because he had to. Uh, yeah, that ball right there at the end kind of came through. Got loose. But nice job, regardless, not surprising. Make that play. That was a really nice route. Nice cut into on that play. Should be going regular speed with this. Oh, overthrown. Nice throw by Kempt. Oh, you cannot fumble that. 
That was all on the receiver. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they blow the whistle. Pitch out there. Nice shot by Kemp to escape the pressure. Wish he were throwing it away, but. Staring down Hakeem. Oh, worked. We got pick number 11. Nice route combo. Almost a touchdown for Montgomery. That was a great route concept, though. Uh, I really like this inside out move here. You're gonna see number 11 cut across. It almost looked like a switch concept. Uh, and then a nice play there by Montgomery to get out. Nice catch. Oh, he had Butler wide open. <laughs> Terrible misread by... Especially going for two. So there you go. Uh, actually, it was a pretty good feel for a lot of the things that Butler can and cannot do well. Uh, so, the biggest positive for him is, especially for a guy his size, I really like his hard cuts. Uh, he's a really nice job of using that hard cut to create space. Uh, and that's actually really, really interesting route running. So, he can pull off a couple double moves. Uh, and I, I really liked how he was able to exploit all three levels of the field with his routes as well. Uh, drag routes underneath, hitch routes underneath, uh, those ins and outs that exploit the middle. And of course, he has that nice vertical stem uh, as well. So, route running, especially for a guy his size, is a positive. Uh, on the other hand, uh, he really needs to work on those hands. Uh, he, does, he brings the ball into his body a little bit too much. Uh, and we saw him have those hands drops at least three times. Probably even closer to five uh, through three games. So, definitely something that you want to see improved. Uh, from him at the next level for him to have continued success uh, in the NFL. So uh, with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely a very interesting watch for sure. A uh, lot to like and dislike. His blocking was another thing that was really fun to watch. So a uh, very physical receiver, but definitely still has some things that he needs to work on. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, check out some of the other ones that we've done so far as well. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. But for now, peace out.